So we recently went to Greece, to the island of Cephalonia. We went in mid-June and it was a perfect timing for us. Not too hot and not too crowded, yet busy enough for all the transport, bars and restaurants to be operating. Keep in mind that some restaurants close for 8 months in a year, so timing is important. Needless to say, Cephalonia is stunning. But to enjoy the island, you need to get your own transport, be it a scooter or a cute little car. There are pebble and sand beaches with amazingly clear beautiful water and stunning sunsets. The water eventually tempted me in and I brought the only camera I had, my cell phone. I obviously did not learn from my trip to Thailand where years ago I dropped my beloved SGS2 into the water, trying to get that perfect shot of course. Luckily this time, the phone did not end up in the water, but that got me thinking. What's the best camera for a novice who wants to be in and capture the moment without having to worry about dropping the camera in the water? After getting the Hero 5, I was immediately flattened by the information overload train that came rushing my way. There are a ton of ways and accessories to configure for this tiny little camera. I also wanted a DSLR-like camera to replace my now retired Sony Cybershot. This camera got me some amazing shots in Beijing and Shanghai, but I needed something with better video and something that meets that water issue that I discussed earlier. I went deeper into the photography rabbit hole and came out with the Panasonic FZ300. Yes, it's not fully waterproof, but it is weather sealed, so the rain and dust should not be an issue. By the way, I thought the GoPro settings were confusing. Man, the GoPro is child's play in terms of complication when compared to the FZ300. But I shall not be defeated. Instead of waiting until my next big South African adventure, I thought I'd start practicing with my new cameras in my immediate environment. That's where you come in. Tell me what kind of things you want to see in and around Stockholm and I will try to share it with you. Stockholm is incredibly beautiful, both in winter and summer, and there are tons of bars, restaurants, parks and lots of sightseeing to be done. Even though I have a GoPro, I am no alpine skiing dude, so please keep your request to something the average Joe can do. I'll be using both the FZ300 and the GoPro, not to compare, but rather to leverage on the strengths of each. I look forward to seeing your comment on what you want to see in Stockholm, and I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you subscribe and share. Thanks, and please enjoy just a few of the shots I took in and around the city.